In this tutorial, I go over some advanced discussion settings for your WordPress website. In the last tutorial, I went over some basic comment management, which you did by clicking on the comments button right here. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some more advanced options that you can play with to make the commenting features much more easier. So if you come down to settings, located right here, go ahead and click on discussion, which is under settings. Here we can go ahead and tweak many different things that will make authorizing comments and how comments are displayed depending on whatever settings you want. So for instance, up here we have default article settings. These are actually located in each individual post. You can actually toggle these for each individual post. But if you want a universal setting, this is where you do it. And I've kind of already went over pingbacks and trackbacks in my post tutorial. But here, basically, you can, whenever you submit a link, or you display a link, I should say, in a post, this setting right here will allow other blogs of that link to be notified that you did this. And it's kind of a courtesy thing, but also this helps for search engines. And this is the um, reverse of that, like right here. So if someone posts a link to your blog, you'll get the uh, link back and so on. And you can also, you know, allow or disallow comments on articles, depending on what you want to do there. For other comment settings, you can have it so the comment author has to fill out a name and email if they don't have a um, username on your website. Or they, could be they have to be registered on your website. You can toggle that on or off. You can automatically close articles after a certain amount of days, if you choose to, to comments. You can enable threaded nested comments, depending on how many levels deep. You can break the comments into how many pages. If you have a bunch of comments, maybe you only want so many comments on each page of comments. So again, those are kind of some more, you know, visual settings that you can toggle with. And that all depends on what you want to do. You can also have email notifications, whether if you want some, like for instance, if someone makes a comment, um, you will get a notification if anyone posts a comment. Or maybe you just want an email notification when a comment is held for moderation. It all depends on what you want to do. Down here, you can have this set so an administrator must always approve the comment. So no matter who it is, it must always be approved. Or you can have it just so the author um, only needs one comment approved, and then after that, they can post at will however, however many comments they want. So those are just some things to play with. Come down here. You can actually set up a series of URLs, emails, IP addresses, or words that will cause the comment to automatically go into moderation. So let's say there is a URL that a spam bot or something is posting on your comments. Well, if you put that URL in here, that will enable that comment to be held in moderation and you can check it out to make sure it's not spam. Or let's say there's an inappropriate word you don't want to get cycled through. Again, you can hold that for moderation, or you can do that for p certain IP addresses that might you know, be a little fishy that you just wanna keep an eye on to make sure that their comments are, are okay. The same thing goes for down here for blacklisting comments, in, but instead in this case, these comments automatically go to your spam folder and don't get posted at all. You can check them out in the spam folder if you wish, but they automatically are pretty much considered you know, not good. They're not gonna be posted on your website. And you can also tweak this too. For instance, if an item contains two or more links, um, this is also another moderation thing too. Most spam messages usually contain two or more links. And so if a comment automatically has two or more links, you're going, it's going to be held in moderation. But of course, again, you can tweak this to zero, one, two, three, whatever you want. But again, two is a good number to be set for that when it comes to spam. And finally down here, you have avatars. You can choose not to display avatars for, every, um, for people's posts, or you can go ahead and create some default avatars here. So for instance, if someone doesn't have an avatar uploaded, it'll be defaulted to this. Or maybe you have the Gravatar um, whole site linked to your WordPress account, and then the avatars will be used through that. Or you can maybe have some randomly generated avatars. Those, uh, you know, again, will display basically a random image for each individual post. That way, you know, it kind of just gives some flair to the website. 
And it really is up to you if you want avatars or not. And there you go. That is a basic rundown of the discussion settings in WordPress. Again, I would check these out and tweak these to your liking because it'll make your moderation and just running your website a lot easier if you have these settings to your liking. Anyway, I have more tutorials coming up, so stay tuned. I will be back soon.